What's up guys? Welcome to Behind the Scenes for Wolfenstein, Liberation of London. So Wolfenstein is one of my favorite games, one of my all-time favorite games. Return of Castle Wolfenstein, I played that game a ton when I was a kid. So, I hope you guys enjoy the Behind the Scenes. Let's do this. So today we are in an abandoned jail in downtown Los Angeles. We're starting outside, we're shooting with a water truck and a cargo truck, and it's supposed to be raining, but it's not really raining, which is why we have a water truck. We're gonna do a wet down uh, to make it look like it's actually raining, then add the rain in post. Um, and then once we're done shooting outside, we're gonna come inside for the rest of the day. It's pretty gross in here, which is good for like production quality and everything. It looks pretty awesome. It's all about this location, man. It's so cool. So today, we have a couple special effects going on. Now, special effects are like practical effects, effects that actually happen in the camera, not on the computer. That's visual effects. Special effects, we got rain. We have uh, squibs, which are like body hits, little explosives packed under the shirt that explode out to make it look like he got shot. Um, we have dust hits that are shot from a paintball, and also zerk hits or spark hits that are also shot from a paintball as well. Hey, I'm Manzi, and I did the wardrobe on this project. The costumes on this were really fun because it's like a blend of like historical and like fantastic video game stuff. So. Uh, we rented a bunch of German uniforms and then we sort of styled them up with these crazy like uh, Tesla packs and uh, custom made vests and other fun fantastical things like that. Um. My whole body just shuts down. <laughs> okay, Nazi mode back on. So in the, the script, our heroes take out all the lights in uh, the, the cell that they're being held in and then they shoot up a bunch of Nazis in pitch black. We ended up just taping a light to the front of the gun and then ran the cable down the gun behind them and over to uh, uh, one of our electricians named Tom who had a uh, hand squeezer or a hand dimmer um, and he was basically bringing it up and bringing it down very quickly. So the effect it gave off was just these very hot pops. It, it sells the effect, it looked great. So my buddy Joe from Synapse Effects uh, helped out with Killzone and Dead Island today. He's here on this Wolfenstein shoot and we're doing rain today. So he's got this like 10 foot rain bar which is just a, just a metal pole with a, uh, a rain hose at the end. And it covers about a 10 foot area and we have to kind of punch in because we only have 10 feet. But it looks so good, it's legit. We can't get any wides, we'll just add the rain and post for the wides. But yeah, he's just going around with this like metal, metal hose. And uh, I guess just making it rain. So shooting rain was really cool. I've always wanted to do it. It was kind of challenging though, because it got everywhere. It got all over uh, the camera, got all over the cab of the truck, uh, but I think it really worked out. It makes your film look a lot more atmospheric. It's the same for fog too. Now you can't show wind, but you can show fog blowing past your actors. Clint gets ribbed for his pleasure on his body hits. This is for you, Clint. Specialized. So squibs are awesome. They give you a nice wet look that you can't recreate in post. Now the guys at Synapse Effects are really quick, so they've rigged up a bunch of these things. And if you look closely, you can see where the costume is scored. So when I give the cue, they hit the wireless trigger, which blows up the squibs. What would you do if I just like... Started? Don't, don't do the what would you do thing. Yeah. The last time that did that, I decked him. So Jake Watson over at Corridor Digital hooked us up with his German Shepherd. His name's Rocky, and he's the best dog ever. Dude, because he's a German Shepherd, man. The, the Germans had German Shepherds. And Rocky is a very well-trained dog. It's funny because Rocky's super chill. He gives fist bumps and everything, but as soon as you put him next to a Nazi and behind a barbed wire fence and have him start barking, you get that nice menacing look. It's like someone pooped in that one. And it's a woman's with urine. <laughs> we did a casting session and had a casting director. And the casting director was like, hey, since these guys don't know each other, you should have everyone play an airsoft game together. So I was like, that's a fantastic idea. So that's exactly what we did. We went to Tech City North to play some BBs. Have you ever played airsoft before? I have not. Man, it kind of hurts. The day before the first day of shooting, we pranked my roommate Max, who is the first AD. Like at 9 o'clock I come home. By the way, we had a 6, 6 a.m. call time. I may have been, if the situation's got a different way, I may have been arrested for manslaughter. You'll see the video and you'll see what I mean. Hey, 
So on this one we used the combination of airsoft guns where we just painted the tip black and prop guns. My buddy Kai built the huge gigantic uh, minigun that's actually from the game and my buddy D built the other two assault rifles that are also from the game. This is a message for all of, you know, like Stallone, Willis, all those guys, Van Damme. I don't need to do a split. I look at people and they split. Come on! What are you, silly? Have you seen this? I spit in your eye. All of you. And Statham, he has no catchphrase. I have, I have thousands of them. Guys, thanks for watching the behind the scenes. Thanks for watching the short film. I really appreciate it. You follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. See you guys next time.